Let's look at categories of equilibrium in three dimensions. If you recall, in section 3.2, uh, we did this for two-dimensional systems. So let's look at three-dimensional systems. We've got four categories again. Number one, concurrent at a point, meaning all the forces in our system pass through the same point. The, line, the lines of action pass through the same point. So what does this mean? It means all we require are these three equations. Some of the sum of the forces in the x, y, and z. We don't need any moment equations, equilibrium equations, because the the forces pass through the same point, right? They're not they're not causing a a moment. So that's all we need for that. Number two, concurrent with a line. Uh, in for the two D case, we had forces that were coplanar but in this in this case we've got uh, forces that are passing through a line all these forces all pass through a certain axis the x-axis and if that's the case all we require are some of the force in the x y and z to be equal to zero and as you can see we don't the, all these forces because they pass through an axis they don't cause a moment about that axis because they're passing through the axis. So all we need to do then is include the other two moment equations, equilibrium equations, about the y-axis and about the z-axis. What about forces that are parallel in three dimensions? Well, they're only acting along the x-direction or whatever direction you choose, but the point is they're acting along a single direction. You can make that y or z. It's up to you. So, but the thing is, all you need is some of the forces along one axis to be equal to zero. And we don't need to include some of the forces in the other two dimensions. And then they are obviously not applying moments about the x-axis because these forces are parallel to the x-axis. But they could potentially cause moments about the y-axis and the z-axis. And then the most general case is if you've got forces that are in all kinds of directions, moments, everything, right? Got everything here. And then we need all six equations of equilibrium.